In this video, we're going to look at what is growth mindset. We encourage the students to have a go. So if they come across something that's difficult, to have a go. We talk about encouraging our brain, that our brain is like a muscle, we can grow our brain. So by giving up, it's not giving our brain the opportunity to develop. So if they have a go, they might find that it doesn't work, but they might think, okay, that doesn't work, I'll find another way of doing it. So it's being very persistent. We also encourage them to use growth mindset language, like I can't do it yet, but that doesn't mean I will never be able to do it. So having a growth mindset rather than a fixed mindset where they give up on themselves all the time. Yeah. So it, it's encouraging the children that, acknowledging that they might find something difficult, but that doesn't mean because they can't do it now, they won't be able to do it next week. So finding new ways to have a go and solve a problem and develop that brain. Some ways you could support your child at home with growth mindset would be to encourage them to brainstorm and find other ways of doing something. So if they are scared to give something a try because they don't know how, talk to them about ways they could find to do it a different way. And maybe who could they ask for support and be prepared to have a go, maybe fail the first time, but to keep trying and not give up. At school, we talk about being a mistake-making classroom, that it's okay to make mistakes in this classroom because through mistakes, we learn and encourage our brain to grow. So at home, you can talk to the child about when they do make a mistake, okay, what have you learned from that mistake? What would you do differently next time? And having that positive growth mindset.